Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. It's Isabella, and today we are going to be going over the best cars to drive in 2024 for Uber and Lyft. Okay, I have this awesome article here from the Rideshare guy, fellow Rideshare YouTuber. But yeah, we're gonna be going over the best cars for Rideshare drivers. This is based on the cost, the fuel efficiency, all that good stuff. So anyways, let's just get started. So the best cars for Rideshare drivers for 2024. First off, we have a 2015 or newer Hyundai Elantra, Kia Forte, Honda Civic, and Toyota Corolla. These are your standard like cheaper cars and if you get one that is 2015 that could cost you under ten thousand dollars the cost per mile is going to be 35 cents and the mpg is 28 to 32 miles in the city and 38 to 42 on the highway so that is pretty good 42 that is really really high you guys it's a great miles per gallon that you're getting on that car but yeah these are like your standard cheap cars from these different car makes that you can buy it's like the most basic one that you can get it doesn't have anything fancy in it but you don't really need it to be anything fancy if you're just going to be a regular uber or lyft driver and yeah even like some of the newer ones that's like a little newer than 2015 let's say you want a car that has carplay i'm pretty sure carplay started in like 2017 um even the 2017 car is gonna be like twelve thousand thirteen thousand dollars it's not bad so if you were looking to buy another car for uber lyft this is a really good affordable option and they take regular gas not premium gas so you don't have to pay extra for gas i think the only cars you would really worry about paying premium for is if you wanted to get a car for like uber black or like uber comfort or something but yeah these are really good options another great option again 2015 or newer this is a hyundai sonata hybrid toyota camry hybrid and the honda accord hybrid since these are hybrid cars okay they're like half gas powered half electric um you will be saving a lot of money on gas these are really great options because you can plug it in a little bit you can charge them a little bit and get gas it's like transitioning into an electric vehicle so you are going to save money this will put you around 16 cents that's the cost per mile and on the lower end it'll be like maybe fourteen thousand dollars for a used 2015 car of one of these the mpg is great okay in the city 39 to 49 and in the highway 38 to 47 so that is really good these are really awesome options and i know a lot of uber drivers who do really like these hybrid cars because they're cheaper than getting a full-on electric vehicle but they also save a lot of money on gas speaking of hybrid cars that brings me on to the toyota prius okay 2017 or newer is good this is like the car to have as an uber driver i swear like most uber drivers i see have a prius for a reason because it's like one of the best selling cars like ever this will put you around 17 cents for the cost per mile and the mpg you guys 54 in the city and 50 in the highway okay that's crazy these are going to be a little more expensive especially if you get it 2017 or newer so this is saying that it'll cost you around like 17 18 thousand dollars you know you can look on auto trader and see or go on facebook marketplace maybe you could find one for cheaper than that i don't know okay another car we have on here this one is actually a little bit surprising it's the lincoln mkz hybrid 2014 or newer I've honestly never even heard of this car before. Um, this will put you around $15,000. MPG is 38 in the city and 37 on the highway and the cost per mile is 28 cents. This is also like a nicer looking car. This is like an entry level luxury car. You know, you would be eligible for Uber Comfort if you wanted to do that. In Uber Comfort, you get paid a little bit more than regular Uber X. You can also use it for Uber Select and actually Lyft Lux. So the next car we have here is the Chevy Bolt EV. This is a fully electric vehicle. Okay, 2017 or newer, this is going to be around $18,000 at the low end. There is no MPG because it's an electric vehicle <laughs> and the cost per mile is going to be around 14 cents. That's because you plug it in and electricity is way cheaper than gas. So this is a good car, really cute car, pretty ugly in my opinion, but you know, that doesn't really matter when you're just driving Uber. If you're saving 15 cents a mile in operating costs compared to a gas car, that's like $83 a week or $2 an hour. Um, and that's not even factoring factoring in incentives like cheaper off-peak charging. 
Some people pay $7 to drive their car 238 miles if they charge at home during off-peak hours. Just take note that there was actually a Chevy Bolt recall. If you care about that, um, there were like some cars that have bad batteries, so just keep that in mind, but you know, I'm sure they're doing fine now. Those are the best cars for ride share. These are some other like honorable mentions, okay, we have, that are also very cheap. We have Nissan Versa. That has pretty good MPG, it's not bad, and they're pretty cheap as well. Let me know what you think of these cars. If you have one of these cars, let me know in the comments how much you like or dislike that car and if it's if you think it's good for Uber and Lyft or not. Also, if there's any cars that I missed on here that you think are really good, be sure to leave that in the comment below. Anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.